we present Kurobo, a GPU accelerated motion generation toolkit that generates collision free minimum jerk full motion trajectories within milliseconds. Robots are entering domains where path planning cannot be pre programmed, requiring online replanning. For example, in palletizing applications, objects of varying geometry need to be picked and packed in different constraint areas on the fly. In machine tending, robots need to account for small changes in part locations during replenishment cycles. In the food industry, where robots are making custom salads, they need to pick specific ingredients based on the order food on the fly. In all these domains, we need robots to generate new motion plans within milliseconds to avoid large slowdowns in cycle time. The motion generation problem can be defined as generating a trajectory that moves the robot from the start state to the desired end effector pose, which is shown here by the green marker. One way to generate motions is with a graph planner, which builds a graph of nodes connected by collision free edges that go from the start configuration to the goal configuration. Building and searching in a graph is a well-studied problem beyond robotics, and there are several robotics-focused planners, such as RRT and BitStar. Graph planning requires mapping the goalpost to a goal configuration, which is typically done with an inverse kinematic solver. Most graph search techniques assume that the robot can instantly change velocity, while manipulators have acceleration and jerk limits. Hence, a trajectory smoother is used to post-process the path obtained from a graph planner. And another approach to motion generation is through trajectory optimization, where Numerical optimization is performed over an initial trajectory seed. However, numerical optimization over non-convex problems is not global and as such, trajectory optimization is prone to getting stuck in local minima. One way to overcome this local minima issue is to use a collision-free path from a graph planner as a seed and then perform trajectory optimization from this seed. This has been done by several research papers and even by standard motion planning libraries. However, this initialization can lead to a suboptimal solution as it only locally adjusts the path from the graph seed. We have seen two main ways to generate collision-free motions. First, using a graph planner, which will give us a linear sequence of collision-free waypoints that can then be smooth. However, getting the shortest path from a graph planner can take several seconds. It's also hard to encode costs such as minimum jerk. The second approach through trajectory optimization enables us to add any additional costs such as minimum jerk and the output trajectory can also be directly sent to the robot. However, the solution is heavily reliant on the initial seed and most trajectory optimization methods also take two to three seconds to plan a motion for a manipulator. Kurobo overcomes issues with trajectory optimization by implementing the full motion generation stack on the GPU. This enables running optimization over many parallel seeds to get the best trajectory. Kurobo can generate smooth, short trajectories within 30 milliseconds as shown here. Visualizing the three approaches to motion generation here, we can see the difference in motion where the graph planner stops at waypoints, followed by trajectory optimization, which generates smooth but longer paths. Finally, Kurobo generates shorter and smooth paths by running many parallel optimization instances. How does Kurobo work? Let's look at an example problem to explain Kurobo's approach. Kurobo first performs inverse kinematics to find goal configurations that map to the goal pose. Then, trajectory optimization is performed with seeds generated by linear interpolation from the start state to IK solved goal configurations. After trajectory optimization, we run a fine tuning optimization step to minimize jerk. Kurobo also implements a graph planner on the GPU that can be leveraged to see trajectory optimization in extreme cases. In the inverse kinematics step, we run numerical optimization to find a collision-free joint configuration that places the robot at the goal pose. We see here the iterations of the numerical optimization where the robots start at a random joint configuration and converge to the goal pose. We see 100 seeds of inverse kinematics being optimized in parallel. Kurobo's collision-free IK solver is 80 times faster than track IK. The IK solved goal states are used to generate seeds for trajectory optimization through linear interpolation from the start state. These linearly interpolated seeds could be in collision as seen here. Over many iterations of the solver, the path is made collision free and also smooth. Trajectory optimization is run over 30 seeds in parallel, and even with these many seeds, the optimization is 87 times faster than trajectory implementation in C. Once a collision free path is obtained, a minimum jerk optimization is performed on the best solution. 
This step also reduces the time it takes for the robot to reach the goal by optimizing with a smaller estimated DT between time steps. After these steps, we get a collision-free minimum jerk trajectory for the robot to reach the goal post. In very hard problems, trajectory optimization can fail with the linear seeds as seen here, where the Franca Panda is unable to go around the table to reach the target. To help in these situations, Kurobo implements a GPU accelerator graph planner that builds a graph by creating collision-free edges in parallel, generating geometric paths within 20 milliseconds. The path from the graph planner is used as a seed in trajectory optimization, which outputs a smooth trajectory, as shown in the right. Putting these paths together, we get the full motion generation pipeline in Kurobo. Now let's look at the implementation. To run the computation steps for motion generation efficiently, Kurobo represents the robot's geometry with spheres, and the kinematics function then maps a joint configuration to the position of the spheres and the pose of the end effector. Kinematics, along with several other core computational blocks, are implemented as custom CUDA kernels. The kernel for robot kinematics reduces work previously run by 125 kernels to one CUDA kernel. Numerical optimization solvers, including LBFGS and parallel line search schemes, are also implemented with custom CUDA kernels. A sphere cuboid sign distance function is implemented in CUDA for use in computing collision avoidance terms in optimization. Kurobo leverages several NVIDIA technologies, including mesh sign distance through NVIDIA's warp and depth image based sign distance queries through NVIDIA's NV blocks. The optimization iterations are implemented with support for CUDA graphs, which gives a 10x speed up in computations overall by reducing kernel launch overheads. We could have stopped here and let users use this library in C. But we integrated all these components within PyTorch to provide a Python front end to Kurobo. This also makes implementing new cost terms and optimization problems more accessible. The world collision computation implementation in Kurobo leverages several metrics introduced in previous papers, such as CHOMP, and combines them with a swept collision checker that enables optimization over thin obstacles, such as walls of a dresser, as seen here. These collision cost metrics improve success rate from 52% to 85% within the first attempt across the benchmarking dataset. On the left, all of Kurobo's collision metrics are activated, while on the right, none of the metrics are activated. We can see here, as the optimization progresses, the collision metrics move the robot away from local minima, while the robot on the right gets stuck and only tries to move very fast near the collision region. We benchmark on 2600 problems from the Motion Benchmaker and Motion Policy Networks datasets. Some of the problems from the dataset are shown here. In this example, Franca Panda leverages Kurobo to move from under the table to the top of the table. In this constrained environment, the robot is able to move between the two bars to reach the goal post, leveraging Kurobo's motion generation pipeline. The dresser environment for motion policy networks is challenging for optimization as there are thin walls that the robot needs to navigate around. Kurobo doesn't struggle here because it has collision metrics that shape the collision cost appropriately to move around thin obstacles. As one final example from the benchmarking dataset, the robot moves from one narrow cubby to another. We next look at some metrics starting with path length in joint configuration space. We compare the path length with RIT Connect implementation from OMPL and also with Out implementation from Tesseract. We first see that RIT Connect's path length is 7 radians on average, while Kurobo's geometric planner reduces it to 5.39 radians on average. Trajopt is able to obtain an even lower path length of 3.67 radians leveraging numerical optimization. Kurobo reduces it even further, bringing the average path length to 3.28 radians. Overall, Kurobo reduces the path length by 11% on average and 28% on the 98th percentile compared to Trajopt. In addition to the path lengths being shorter with Kurobo, the generated motions are also shorter in time, as seen by the lower trajectory time in mean and 98th percentile here when compared to Trajopt. Kurobo generated trajectories can reach a goal 1.6 times faster than a trajectory generated with Trajopt on the 98th percentile. Kurobo also minimizes jerk with a squared L2 cost, which enables generation of trajectories that have four times lower jerk when compared to Trajopt. Next, we'll see the time it takes to generate these trajectories. The time taken by Trajopt are in the seconds range, with the 98th percentile taking 22 seconds across the 2600 evaluated problems. In comparison, Kurobo only takes 50 milliseconds on average and 30 milliseconds on the 75th percentile. The time taken on the 98th percentile is 260 milliseconds, 83 times faster than Trajopt.
Comparing the average planning time across compute devices on an NVIDIA Jetson AGX Orin at Maxin, Trajop takes 6 seconds, and on a 15 watt power budget, it takes 10 seconds. While Kuroba is 28 times faster, taking 220 milliseconds in Maxon mode, and 21 times faster in 15 watt mode, taking 480 milliseconds. The quick planning time enables Kurobo to generate motions for real robots on a NVIDIA Jetson. In this scene, Kurobo takes 100 milliseconds to plan motions on median to reach different targets visualized with the green marker. Kurobo's motion generation can also improve rearrangement planning where the task is to pick an object and place it in a different shelf. Here, Kurobo is used to generate motions as part of PDDL Stream, which is a standard TAM solver. On the right, a BIRT planner from PDDL Stream is used. Kurobo not only finishes the task quicker, but also generates motions that look more natural when compared to the BIRT planner on the right. Kurobo also provides APIs to attach objects to the gripper, which is a standard procedure in pick and place tasks. We provide a USD stage synchronizer that can read the world from a simulation environment such as NVIDIA SX Sim. This feature is used in this example here to stack cubes into a tower. Kurobo avoids stacked cubes during subsequent motions. The generated motions also avoid collisions between the grassed object and the world. Integrating with NV blocks enables the robot to react to obstacles perceived from a depth camera. Here, we show how NV blocks can be used to avoid a human as seen from a depth camera. Kurobo's MPPI controller is running on the Franca robot, which is trying to maintain its end effector at a specific target while avoiding a human as seen from the depth camera. On the right, we show an example integration of NV blocks with Kurobo's motion generation pipeline where the robot is moving between two goal poses. We can see here that the Franca Panda takes a taller trajectory whenever obstacles appear, which are rendered as yellow boxes. The median time across different modules in Kurobo are shown with timings ranging from 1 nanosecond for forward kinematics to 30 milliseconds for motion generation on a PC. Visit our website for more details. We provide many examples in NVIDIA SXM to get you started.